many sisters and brothers in Carmel. We meet again. We come to the third point of the essentials of our charism, that is mission. What makes a missionary are not the legs, but the heart. A missionary is a person whose heart burns with love for Christ and zeal for souls, and therefore answer to the call of Jesus, go, teach, and baptize. The goal and the motif are the same, save souls by love. Our sister in Carmel, St. Teresa of St. Jesus, teaches us this beautiful aspect of our Carmelite charism and mission spirituality. I will only say with you, my dear sister, brothers and fathers, some questions as an orientation to help you to get more inspiration and other interrogation for questioning our mission spirit and mission life. About this important point, we find in this booklet from number 45 to 70, 57, 57. Okay, we come to number 45, Call for Mission. We find in St. Teresa of Child Jesus a heart that is ready to give herself to God and souls generously. Ask Jesus too that I may always do his will. I am ready also to die. Do you have do you feel and believe that whatever you do now is a mission that God entrusts you? Number 46, the mission of the order. St. Teresa of Child Jesus was very happy to enter a community characterized by a missionary's awareness. What is the main mission aspect of our community? Number 47. The apostolic dimension in the Theresian experience. What is your suggestion to promote our missionary spirit? Number 48. Pleasing the Lord. St. Teresa's apostolic desire always had a Christocentric orientation. She wants to please Him by saving the souls. In what way we can please God? more and more in our daily ministry. Number 49. A life commitment. St. Teresa of Child Jesus writes in her manuscript, I would be a missionary not for a few years only, but from the beginning of creation until the consummation of ages. How I use my talents for the goodness of God and for others. Number 50. The Apostolic Will of Prayer. A missionary shares Jesus' mission of rescuing souls. Means might differ prayer, writing, preaching, penance, etc. Why I believe the power of prayer in apostolic life. Number 51. The Multifaceted Ecclesial Work. Our mission develops through the concrete work that Christ and the Church needs in every time and place. What is your concrete suggestion to develop the mission on our, of our community? Number 52. Ministry of Spirituality. St. Teresa of Saint Jesus wants to spend her heaven doing good on earth. The goal and motive of our spiritual ministry is as St. Teresa teaches us to love, to be loved, and to return to the earth to make love loved. Do I have the spirit of spiritual ministry in my everyday ministry? 53. The mission objectives. The mission is accomplished not so much by what the matter of what we do, but by who we are. It is essentially a matter of being rather than doing. Are our pastoral activities in line with our community life? Number 54. Attentive to, the, to today's Carmelites, today's world, sorry. 
Our presence as a Carmelite can also be significant in areas relevant to this, such as the pastoral care of the youth and the family, ecumenical and interreligious dialogue, the struggle for justice and peace, and ecological commitment. Among points mentioned, which is suitable for the community's apostolate. 55. Community discernment on mission. Our Carmelite spirituality is very Christocentric. Everything we have comes from Christ. Jesus is everything. We all can only collaborate with Him. Do you have a best way to involve in pastoral activities as a community? Number 56. The communal character of the apostolate. Each of us is called to participate in the mission of the order by our personal collaboration. The most perfect gift is nothing without love. What can I offer to enrich this aspect? Number 57. The apostolate share between friar, nun, friars, nuns, and lady. What are your thoughts and suggestions so that the three Carmelite ways of life, friars, sisters, and lady, can walk together in mission? Okay, thank you very much, and see you next time.